Hello and welcome to Feed Fallen. We're in early April. Our first job today is to get work on that bottom field. And we're going to lease a couple of big tractors and some cultivators and we're going to cultivate that field to start with. Hopefully we'll be able to get it planted as well pretty soon. Um, let's get where are we going. So we want to get nice big tractors. I think because we can make quite a bit of money out of these fields we can afford to we can afford to um, to lease vehicles so that we can buy the other the other land up quicker. We might even be able to buy up the second piece of land and get equipment to work on that. We'll see. See how we go with Try and finish off this one. Uh, where are we going? Fence, yeah, that's the one I want to do. We want to, want to be using fence now. It's another German or European make of vehicle. It's German, of course. And we're going to put on white tires with weights. And we're going to lease that. Right, we'll lease the second one, I think. And then we'll lease another one to start planting the top field with the, the middle section of the top field. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to lease that. Yes. And then we're going to lease the next one. And yes. Right. Okay, so that's those three done. Then we're going to these two I want some nice big um, cultivators. Where are the cultivators? There they are there. I was on it. Let's see what we got. Fourteen, fifteen meters. So we'll lease two of those and yes and lease another one right so let's go and get those started off jump in the first one here Right. Get all hooked up and we'll get them down to the bottom fields. Once we've got them all there, we'll get back to you. Right, we're just about. Yeah, we've got the other one parked down at the bottom. At the, at the other end of the field. I suppose you can call it the bottom. It's the other side of the field. So let's get this one going. Unfold it. Got a reasonable width, so it should be able to work quite well in here. Let's give it a bit of a overlap to start with put it straight onto a worker set it off yeah there we go this one this is at the bottom <laughs> to the left of that one <laughs> yeah can't set the bottom to the 
the eastern border, I suppose, of the field. Put that onto a work as well. I think that was the best start. Just get him off there, get it done properly. It just bug me that little slither there. It's like the little slither that we've got in the in the grass field that I'll have to fix up sometime as well. There we go. That should just overlap a bit. Right, let's get to the other vehicle. And we want to buy a decent sized cedar that can take a bit of seed. So that we're not filling it up all the time. Or well, we're going to lease it as well. Let's lease the cedar. So where's the cedars? There we go. And how much does that take? 5,800, 7,000. It should fill up with seed and Fertilizer. Right. Now lease that. Right. There we go. Yep, that should be good. No, I just want to see if the uh, farm supply will actually have seed in it. I know we've been filling up our bags, but uh, I've seen a lot of that. Let's just see if we can get this actually filled up from our farm supply side, our farm supply depot, if you want to call it that. Start filling, yeah. Go a bit forward. There we go. The next one is there. At least we know it'll do the day. Right, let's get this started. We're going to have to do two trip two two headlands as such. They'll be actually be side lands, just to make sure that it doesn't encroach on the crops that we've already planted. So we'll do wheat in that bottom field when we plant this, we'll plant barley here. Oh, what's a good cash crop? Let's have a look and see. Um, where are we going to go to? So wheat gets... Top price is 1,100. Barley 1,100, slightly less. Oats 1,8. Canola 2. Sorghum 1,5. So I think we're going to go oats because I think canola. We'll be doing those in the other fields, but for ourselves. But also canola, I think, is much lower yield. I think oats is going to be a good one. We'll put oats in. Right, so let's just get ourselves set up here. 
and what we're going to do going to wheat barley oats there we go it's also got a fairly good wingspan I want to give it a bit more space between the fields. Yeah, this will be the first time we've actually really fully utilized this field and we've still got to sort out the bottom part of this field, which we'll do once we've uh, finished off the, the far bottom field. Alright, so we'll just get this planting and see you once it's done. Right, we're back with me. We just finished the first side land. We'll just head off down to the other side. Don't have to worry about the bottom because that it's got plenty of space to turn around. Probably going to be famous last words, but we'll see. Just hope it doesn't get tangled up with the uh, with the cultivators. Right, let's get this sorted out here. Get this going from this side. We've also got to go and uh, just jump out here. We need to go and uh, put some. Um, need to fertilize and weed this field so I think we will buy a nice big fertilizer at least um, sprayer right get that done we'll get this side done We haven't dropped it down, have we? We have. We haven't switched it on then. Probably switched it off. <laughs> right, here we go. We'll see you once we're at the top. Right, we're not very far from finishing off this second side land. Just about to the top. While I was driving up here, I just realized we probably need to go and probably run out of food to beat big chicken barn. We're very close to running out of food. So we'll need to go and feed the chickens, pick up the eggs from there. We've still got to pick up and sell all the products. I will, I'll do the selling of the products offline or off camera um, because I've shown that I think in the last episode we, we did quite a bit of that um, yeah so, um, so I think first of all before we start the spraying we will um, go and tend to the chickens we'll just get this going and then uh, because that's such a small area I think I'll just spray it myself I don't think I'll put that onto a, wor a worker um, 
just get this lined up nicely for the worker and let's make sure he gets off okay Hope there's going to be too much of a gap there. Oh, there are going to be gaps. Let's stop him. Go across a little bit more. Always try to be. I was going to say too efficient, but it. it it's actually inefficient. Always try to be too uh, too greedy. I think is the better word to use. Uh, right. So let's just do it different. There, that should be okay. At least it should cover. Should be should have enough of, of an overlap to cover most things. Right. So let's get back to the farm and we'll jump into. One of our tractors. We're going to hitch up a trailer. Go and get some some wheat. Take it down to the. We'll go and feed the chickens. We'll go and feed the small chicken coop first. Um, it. Um, doesn't have a very big capacity so we kind of have to feed that all each day I found that out to my cost last evening when uh, I was just running through the animals and it was empty normally when you do chickens you can leave it for quite a while but not in this case got some stock that needs to be collected but remember we've got to come come through from the other side here because of the fuel trigger. Luckily our flowers are pretty hardy. <laughs> well that's that's what I'm saying. Start filling wheat. Yep. I don't think this will take too much at this top. Then we need to just collect the eggs. Um, we'll do We'll sell the mayonnaise and we'll do the sales for the from the dessert factory. Of course we'll have to go and collect all the product that's been produced at the open air gardens, but we've done that plenty. We've shown you that plenty of times, so we'll do that. We'll do that off camera. I think we were I think our Productivity on this this field is not, or this uh, coop has not been very good through my fault. Not making sure that there's the right amount of feed in there. Just check that out. Yeah, it's only 9,000 uh, litres. Got a bit there, so we're, we're still all right at the bottom one. Large one. We've got males that we need to sell. And you keep the females that have been produced because unfortunately the males don't make any money. Or well, any, any eggs. Don't produce any eggs. <laughs> Should I say? Certainly not a boy's life at the farm, I tell you what. If we do have a an arrangement which I've had before in that we are able to get them collected. They get uh, reared up and for a oh, I don't know how long to be honest. Um and then sold off for I think they mainly go into um, into animal feed products I suppose because normally it's chickens once again 
as opposed, as opposed to um, cockerels that are consumed by supermarkets and such. But yeah, um, we won't go into that at this point in time. Yeah, 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 we are down here. And there's plenty to collect as well. First of all, I just need to just check something on this field here. Is this crop ready to harvest? And what is it? Potatoes. It's, uh, slow, tough yielding. And a tough, um, tough harvesting crop. A slow harvesting crop, should I say. Think about it. We've probably got enough to buy one of the other fields. Right, so let's show you how this is going to work. I think, uh, if you remember a couple of episodes ago, I was having a real problem, and then I said that one of our, one of my subscribers had sent me a message saying that I was trying to open this because it occurred to me it's got to come outside because it's just not feasible to feed inside for the size of the now I was trying to open it there it doesn't open there it opens here I should have seen that because that's your normal on off switch isn't it for the for this game so there we go shoots it out opens it up and shoots it up it slides out right, so we just hop back in there and get a good angle so you can see it come, come from the other side just reverse that in Go. It's probably going to take the whole load. That'll keep us going for a while. Yeah, so that's that's pretty interesting. I thought. Uh, I knew I knew it had to. It had to be some somewhere, and I just thought to myself, I just couldn't work it out. But that's the that's the joy of doing these types of um, of episodes and and, um, and and let's plays. It's always somebody who knows something about the game. You, you can't always know everything. Well, I suppose you can, but some people can. Some people know more than others. Got babies in there. All looking good. You can, with this unit, you can also do um, manure. So you can put straw in and... Uh, Produce manure. We might do that at a later stage, um, just to test it out. So we've got over fifty thousand feed in there now. I think the there it is there. So the male chicks. So let's get those sold. At least 60. <laughs> yeah, so we don't get any money for them, but they come and fetch. I mean, we don't have to transport them anyway, so basically we sell them for the transport cost. Which is okay. 60.
and another 60. Wow. Oh, we might have we might have missed the, the breeding cycle because just look at it they're up to 2000 already they really do breed quickly um because what did we start with 540 odd i think So it's just well, once we've finished everything, we, we can just see how inefficient it would be. We'd be feeding animals um, without getting any income. So it sounds a bit harsh, but that's the way of farming really well, there we go this is the last lot and sell them so we're now sitting with 1272 chickens in there all of which would be producing it at some point, I think it's still only the main original producers. So the ones that are left on the left hand side are saying six euros. Those are them, except for the male rooster. He certainly did a job, didn't he? Right, we've got eggs. Yeah, we can come pick up some eggs. Those that are for now, and we'll come pick those up with the trailer. Right, so that's that job done. Just get back to the farm. And then we'll, once we're back at the farm, we will at least say, we'll buy a sprayer. We'll see you once we're back there. Right, we're back at the farm. Just going to drop this trailer off. And we, we're going to see what sprayer we're going to get. I don't want to look yet to see how many mayonnaise pellets there are. It's probably ran out of eggs in production there. Right, so we've got that sorted. What is it going to do? Oh yeah. Going to go and sort out a sprayer. Let's park this up there for now. Right, let's have a look and see which sprayer we can get. Where are we now? And crop protection, I think it comes under. Right, so that one takes 4,200 litres, 36, 48 metre width, 9,000 litres. Not far off double the price. I think we'll go with this one. I think that'll work out well enough. Put the narrow tyres on. Yes, all that type of stuff. Can't increase any of the capacities. That's good enough. We'll buy that. Right, so we can kind of put um, some, uh, what shall we do first? Let's get rid of the weeds first and then we'll fertilize. The 
but we can't fill that up because it's a liquid fertilizer. How much did this take? Um, 4,200. So let's buy some liquid fertilizer. Liquid fertilizer, 2,000 liters. So let's buy three of those. Right, then we'll fill this up and there'll be one left still. Didn't check to see whether we've got liquid fertilizer still in there. In the store, I should check that up. We'll check that up. If I'm sure we'll have to refill somewhere along the line pretty soon. We'll just run through this on our on our own quickly. I don't think it'll take too many passes to uh, to fertilize that bottom. Oh, yeah, well, we're, we're fertilizing yeah, to fertilize the bottom field, and then we'll just do the weeding straight after that. Not much taken out of that one. Eight hundred liters or so, I suppose. But two hundred liters, should I say? Let's just get off the road. Traffic is so bad. Right, here we are just about at the at the field. So let's uh, get this organized. Spray this top part and then we'll reorganize. We ran out of uh, seed <laughs> just as we started in another lap as such. Right. Right, there we go. <laughs> Lined up nicely. Let's get going. Right, we've just about finished our first pass and looks like our seed is empty. We'll have to go and get that sorted out. To go and get the van out with some seed and go and fill it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this onto a worker. Stop him here. Put put him onto a worker because he will stop when he. And then I'll go back to the farm and. Yep, he's run out of seed. This big one is much easier to refill because you can get the whole van into the trigger area for filling it. Yeah, we're slightly short, but 200 litres short, basically. Get the van out the way. And We'll get that started. Get the worker going. Let's give him his final instructions. Jump out and get out of his way. Well, you see, it's going to be a little bit of a problem there, but we'll sort that out later. Right, let's go and have a look at that um, sprayer. Oh, it hadn't finished. It's been turning around. It's just about finished, so. 
Ah, there we go, finished. We'll get back to the farm, as I said, and we'll go and get that washed out quickly, and we'll put some herbicide in there. Then after we've done that, we'll quickly go and check up on the on the two cultivators. Uh, that's got it all done. Nice. Right. It's going to load up the herbicides. Come and deal with that in a minute. Get a bit closer, I think. If we've got too much out again, or too much again. Sure, they only showed the one thousand something in there. Thought it said one thousand two hundred odd liters in that tank. In the event we'll just get this up to the Field. We'll put it onto a worker as well. It worked quite well. The fact of the matter is that we pretty much have to use workers for all the farm work really now because the fields are so big we've just got to have lots of actions going on. And because we've got lots of actions going on we'll have to manage it so we're going to be jumping between vehicles and Fast going into a delivery stroke management mo <laughs> mo mode. <laughs> I mean, technically speaking, we could we could um, buy the other two fields, and that would give us our wind conditions. Because I did, we did say that we would just need to buy the t the four fields. We can technically buy the four fields, but then again, we have changed some of the other rules a little bit that we're using non-start vehicle, non, um, non, um, base game vehicles. So we have changed the rules. So I've pretty much changed it to that. We have to, we have to get four fields bought and replanted and reharvested and then we will end the game so it's probably another oh five or six episodes i would think right we'll get a work on that just make sure it starts off properly not going to worry about that little bit on the end Yep, that's working okay. Let's go and have a look at these others. Can't quite see each other yet. It's gonna take a while for that. I think we could probably get another Let's probably get the planters going as well. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Okay, so let's get... So we get something different. So we get some cases. Four thirty-five here, we'll get two of those. Two 
just for a bit of variety. Three points here, we want that. And we'll ease that. And we'll ease another one. We'll get two cedars. We'll just use the same cedars. Get two of those. These. These. Right, there we go. Right, so we've got that cooked up. We'll go and get it refilled. Or fold up, should I say. the right angle. Not the right angle. There we go. We'll get that closed and we'll get this back down to the to the field, get it ready and we'll come and sort the other one out. We'll see you once that's all done. Right, so we're back down at the f well we <laughs> not back, we have we haven't really been here with the planter with the cedar should I say. In any case, let's get the cedar going. Uh, what did we say we were going to plant here? Uh, wheat. Yeah, we did say we were going to plant wheat, so it's already at wheat because we're going to take some straw. We won't get all the straw off yet. It's just too laborious. I suppose. We'll get a million litres or so off here so that we can get straw production back into up to scratch, should I say, in the production unit for TMR for the cars and bedding etc. Right, let's get that open. So our staff is increasing substantially now. We've pretty much got uh, got five tractors with five workers on it. It'll be interesting to see what our wage bill is like for this month. Right, let's get him going. This is the other one. Yeah, so you've got to throw a bit of money at fields this sort of size, you know, because you, it's just impossible to do on your own. Or solo mode, should I say, without using workers. And you really do need to use big, big equipment as well, just to be efficient. But when you see the income, yeah. Not to be scoffed at. Get him going. Right, I just want to check the fuel in the other ones. Where are they? Fuel is looking okay. Yep. And. Yep. And that's done. That's job. So we can go get that parked up because that is ours, so we don't have to worry about getting that back and worry about lease costs on that. We're going to have to work pretty hard on that bottom field. I don't think we'll need to get doubles of these on that because it does um, does work work fairly quickly. 
it might be worthwhile getting another one specifically f so one for herbicide and one for for fertilizer but we'll worry about that in another episode right i'm going to get this parked up got all that operating i've got that field uh, fertilized and sprayed off got to deal with this bottom field here we might just put that all to grass have one huge grass field there that should just work for us and then um, to finish off the episode I'm just going to go and collect the eggs right we're just back down at the chicken shed <laughs> let's get those off try and load those pallets onto the back here we have bought a little forklift to help out here that should be in here yeah there it is there <laughs> I don't know how this, I don't know whether this will, this will actually work because of the wheel arches let's have a look and see that let's give it a go Three full pellets. I thought it was two. Well, they on. Not the way it should be done, I suppose. But then again, have, have you, do you know how strong a egg is? From the. You're trying to squeeze them. From the points have you tried it give it a go see if you can see if you can squash the egg talking about holding it upright worth a try well just trying to trying to justify for <laughs> what i've done there i would not normally do that in a normal given situation but this is just a means to the end this episode strap them in and we'll head on back to the farm and go and make the delivery this will not be happening again promise you famous last words again <laughs> right here we are back at the farm just going to deliver the eggs Very rough handling of the eggs. In any event, we will sort out the rest of the product offline. And I think that's where we'll end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. 
will of course continue with all the offline with all the other little jobs maybe we'll do a separate episode on that just to uh, tie it all up thank you so much for watching and cheerio